Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are benchmarking the Micromax Bolt A065. It comes with the new MT6571 chipset Android 4.4.2 KitKat with a 4-inch WVGA display for about Rs 3800. You can see it's powered by a dual-core processor clocked at 1.3 GHz, Mali 400 MP GPU. You have 477 MB of RAM available on the phone, 1 GB of internal storage which is expandable. Then you have a 2 megapixel primary camera and a VGA front facing camera is also available on the phone. You have a 2000 mAh battery and the accelerometer is working fine but it seems that the proximity and light sensors are disabled. Starting with the benchmarks, the first one we are going to run is Antutu. We have fast forward all of these to get to the results quickly. So we got an Antutu score of 10671 which is actually not that good. It's among the lower scores in this particular segment and a bit lower than the Carbon 8 will star which is approximately at the same price. Now we are running the Quadrant Benchmark, again fast forwarded. So we got a great score of 5298 which brings it in the same realm as the Moto E and the Carbon 8 will star. Now we are running the Velomo HTML5 chapter in the default browser. It will run Octane as well as Sun Spider and V8 Benchmark Suit. So we got a score of 1448 which is a very good score. Higher than both the Carbon 8 Well Star as well as the Motorola Moto E. Now we are running the Velamo Metal chapter. It will specifically test the processing capabilities of the phone. And we got an excellent score of 592, which is again higher than both the Carbon 8 Well Star as well as the Motorola Moto E. Now we will test graphics with the help of Nina Mark II. It will give us an FPS rate, and we got 46.8 FPS, which means high end games might be playable on this device. But with 512 MB RAM, that's a bit iffy. Single thread test time, we got 97.36 on Linpack, 119.45 on multi-thread test. Again, in the same realm as the Moto E. It's multi-touch test time, I have 4 fingers, only 2 are detected, so it's a 2 point multi-touch display. Even in terms of general performance, you will notice that there is a hint of lag in the device, but that's really minimal and it doesn't crop up until you have too many applications open. In general, the device performs quite well. It has good build quality, the only sore point being the viewing angles of the display. But apart from that, considering the budget price of about to be 3800, this could be a very good offering. We'll be back with more till then you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the Carbon A12 Star. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Any questions, just hit us in the comment section. For news updates, visit phonebunch.com and have a great day.